Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hey guys, Trav, Hayes, and I, and Trouble and Maverick are on the trailer right now, and we are taking two of our bulls up to a bull collection facility so that they can get collected. Um, some of our clients have been asking about purchasing frozen semen, and so we're getting that done for them today. And so we thought we would have take you along on the ride and uh, show you how we collect bulls. So I'm very, very passionate about the bulls that are in our herd and the bulls that we use. I, I picked a good bull here. I think he's a good one. He's had pretty low birth weights. But he gave me two bull calves, but that's great. Anyway, so <laughs> we're really passionate about the bulls that are in our herd because when you think about it, good cows are great. Don't get us wrong. We love our good cows. We, we pick for good cows. We keep them in our herd. But they give us one calf a year, right? And it's half the genetic influence of that. Bulls, on the other hand, can influence your entire calf crop or... 50% or a quarter of your calf crop. Look at where I found this biker. Can you see him? He's in the middle of the road. There's nothing good in the middle of the road. Just, Two yellow lines and dead armadillos. We can't pass them or anything because it's just taking up the horn. Anyway, so your bull can influence almost your entire calf crop depending on the size of your herd. So for us, we want to make sure that the bulls that we're using and keeping and selling and maintaining are really, really good. So, because we're influencing a lot of genetics within our herd, right Trent? Yeah, absolutely. Like for us, um, raising mainly seed stock, you're not just uh, affecting one year's uh, crop of feeder cattle. So you're actually affecting multiple generations uh, for the future of cows and bulls. And yes, you are, that's mainly what we're breeding for, is just good cows. Sorry, we were distracted by the biker in the middle of the road. We're out of coffee, Trev's pretty distraught right now about that. <laughs> But anyway, so yes, good bulls are incredibly important for a good breeding program. So you see kids, when a bull really loves a cow, but that cow happens to live, you know, states or countries away, he has to send his love to her. And so that is why we collect our bulls. And the next image will be a little bit graphic, but it's the birds and the bees. The bull sperm is then collected and checked for morphology and motility and then frozen. Hey. 